Let's look at question 46, permutation. Give a integer array. All the number in this array is a distinct integer. So it means no duplicate. Then return all the possible permutation. You can return in any order. So it gives you one, two, three. This is a return. Okay, let us start coding. Those type question, permutation, I'll try some of the possible. Normally we can use the backtrack. So policy is very simple. In the first loop, we pick up either one or two or three, and then we have the rest number go to the next loop. Okay, so first we need to define the return value. So return value is new array list. Then we write a return and call the backtrack. And uh, in the beginning, we have uh, all the numbers. And uh, then we have uh, return and uh, we have uh, some list hold the current permutation. So this is called the backtrack. So every time we remove one and add the, every time we re add one, run the next the backtrack and remove it. So this is called the backtrack. So new array list uh, integer. This one. Okay, and uh, let us write the back track function. So numbers and uh, we have a return parameter here and we have uh, the date holder. Finally, we will reach end of uh, function to build the permutation. So if numbers, why is it not give the hint? Let me check. Oh, okay. Here is uh, not a turn on. Numbers lines is equal to one. So it means uh, we got someone, right? So we build the uh, array. So this one called a temporary. It's a new array list. And uh, we use the buffer to initialize it and uh, the Buffer will add the numbers last one and then we add this one to the return T1. Sorry about this one, this should be the T1 and the return. So we are done one. Then we need a handle if the numbers is not zero. If it's not zero, so we need to build the next loop use the buffer, right? So the int next numbers will be the new int numbers 
bind minus one. Every time we hold one, and then we loop these numbers. Numbers line and um, okay. Every time we put uh, this one into this here, right? And then after we call the backtrack, we remove it. So it's a um, buffer size minus one. So here we call the backtrack. So it's a new next uh, numbers and uh, return and uh, buffer. Okay. Now we need to uh, fill new numbers. Okay, how to fill? So we can use other loop, right? To avoid the I1 value and fill it. However, we can find the other smart way. So if I1 is equal to zero. We can do a system dot array copy. So this one. So I think this one is the original one is um, uh, numbers, right? This side is from the one because. Of I1 is zero, so we only need some other value. So I1 copy to the new next numbers and copy from the value is zero. Right? After copy the value is zero, we need to know what is the lines. Okay here. So next line we can reuse this one here. This actually will be the next line. And the copy we will give copy. Okay. So if it is a zero, so we copy the rest of value. So if it's a come here, so we only copy two and three. Makes sense, right? Else, if it's not a zero, what happened? So, in that case, we only need to do one thing. When the loop come in, in the first i1 equals zero, we build this uh, new numbers. So, and when we go to the next number, will be the i1 will be the one. What happened? So in that one, which value will be changed? The new, the next numbers, I1 plus one. So remember here, in the beginning we have uh, numbers will be the one, two, three, right? And the first round, first round, the next numbers will be the two and the three. And then second round, so I1 will become the one, right? In that one, we need to get the one, and the three. And then the third one, this one will become the one and the two. Okay, how we can do it? So we just use I1 minus one 
equal to the numbers i1 minus 1. OK, so 0, we do the copy. Then we i1 equal to 1. So the 0 value from here, we replace with the numbers 0, 1. And then the next round, we replace this number with the previous one number, right? So we, every time we only update one location, not rebuild the whole stream, OK? So let us try it. OK, we have, we forget the semicomma. OK, and uh, let us submit it to OK, it's used uh, 3 million seconds. Try one more time, 2 million seconds. I hope the next this click will be better. Oh, same. OK, anyway, uh, we think we are done with question coding. Uh, let us analyze uh, uh, the time complexity. The time complexity, uh, that is uh, permutation, and uh, you know, the first loop will, for example, you have uh, six element, so the next uh, traceback is five element, and uh, then continue double, right? I can continue to use this one. So the time complexity, will be the big O of um, explanation, right? And what is space? So space, if you have a six element, so you only loop six times, right? So the space will be the big O of, and so it depends on how many elements in this input array. Uh, thank you for watching the video.